From local stories to Wayne County news, get ready to dive into everything happening in North Carolina with Taylor House Publishing. Got a story to share? Shoot us an email at taylorpublishinghouse at gmail.com. If you're looking to publish your book or need some top-notch mentorship, we've got your back. Join the excitement with the one and only Richard Taylor, right here at Taylor House Publishing. Speak with Richard directly at 919-587-7782. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and invite your family and friends to watch. From Lake County to the Carolina Coast, Taylor House bring the news you love most. Tune in on YouTube, don't miss a beat. Local stories that keep you on your face. Taylor House, we've got the school. Peace and blessings, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the video that you are about to see, I must admit, is very disturbing and also enraging. Uh, 54, 55 year old uh, Benita McConaughey of Tampa, Florida, uh, was outside watering her lawn when she was viciously attacked by a Mr. Terrence K. Wolf. As the two got in a disagreement concerning Mr. Wolf's dog urinating on her lawn. Evidently, this had been an ongoing issue with the two. Apparently, Mr. Wolf uh, walked his dog by her house frequently. And on this particular day, uh, she approached Mr. Wolf and asked her, please. Stop letting your dog urinate on my lawn. Now, evidently, uh, Mr. Wolf asserted his, I don't know how else to say it, white privilege and possibly told her, you know, no, nah, I'm going to let my dog continue to urinate on your lawn. And it was then uh, that Miss McConaughey, who was holding a water hose, admittedly sprayed at the feet of this and I was about to call him gentleman but you know he's definitely a savage beast and you will see uh, from the video but after she sprayed at the man's feet the man yielded a metal rod almost those like the police use similar and began to welling on this defenseless older black lady in broad daylight and the whole event was caught on tape, as you will see. But what's most importantly is the Tampa Bay District Attorney has failed to uh, levy charges. Now, there was a witness. Miss, uh, there's an 88 year old witness, Mr. Francis Bush. And I can only imagine uh, his race and ethnicity who said he never saw the dog urinate on Miss McConaughey's lawn. However, um, he did see her spray at him. And he said when he was swinging the metal rod at this lady, Mr. Bush couldn't tell if he was just trying to hit the hose out of her hand or not. And the fact that this man would say that allows me to know how he pretty much feels about both black people and women. Because once again, there is no way that this video does not depict clear cut assault. And also, most importantly, assault with the deadly weapon. And I'll let you be the judge. Here's the video.
Now, you saw that video in which the man, after they finished talking and she sprayed water towards the dog, the man clearly pulled out that rod and began swinging and charging at this lady. Now, only thing she had, the only weapon she had was a water hose. And you see her trying to spray the water hose, but the water hose was no match for the stronger man, the big stronger man, and the pipe that he wielded in his hand. And soon you see the lady kind of charge with her head down, trying to fin defend herself. Then the man grabs her by her hair and continues to beat her until the woman broke away backed up and you know got into a driveway for a minute and i commend uh, that lady for you know trying to stand up against this man so i do not know what i do know because this is an example of once again the two forms of justice system but i do not know why the da failed to charge this man but of course we know there are two different judicial systems especially in, you know, states and towns like this for black people and white people. Now, the man Terrence Wolf said that he was defending himself and he raped the rod in self-defense. And any contact with McConaughey's body was, as he quoted, incidental. Now, incidental contact is when you mistakenly brush up on somebody, right? Or you're maybe catching something that's trying to fall and you hit somebody's hand. That's incidental. These acts by this man were deliberate, malicious, and intentional. And the fact that this DA said that he could not press, press charges due to the lack of of independent witnesses and the conflicting statements of both Mechanico and Wolf. Now, this is the biggest crock of cow manure, as someone put it, that I have heard. Just look at these bruises that grace the body of this woman. There you see on her arm and her back from this man who attacked her with a metal rod. Now, of course, people in Tampa in that area are uh, livid. They're asking for justice. There is a petition out uh, to make sure that this man gets charged. Uh, in a 2020 poll, which shows the attitude that black residents in Tampa have toward police, they say that only 7% of black people say they feel safe when police are around, as opposed to 51% of whites. And of course, we know why. But I want to ask you two questions. Imagine. If that was a black man beating a white woman on videotape like that, they would try to get him with the highest charge possible and they would prosecute him to the fullest extent of the law. And anyone who would beg to differ or dispute that fact has not been living in America for too long. And the second question is, where are all the feminist groups now where are all the women's empowerment groups the women uplifting groups where are they at with the pressure on this da is it because that the women only defend uh lily white women i have to ask that question but why you don't hear about this? Once again, this happened on June the 2nd. And as always, if somebody would not have sent me this information, there would be no story today. 
And so I ask you guys, why do you think this young, this gentleman, not even gentlemen, people said stop calling them gentlemen. I'll be trying to be nice. Why do you, this, this Neanderthal, this savage, barbarian, lowly of the lowest human being, why do you think this man is not prosecuted? Because as the DA says, there's lack of an independent witness and conflicting statements between McConaughey and Wolf. But there is nothing that can conflict what we just saw on that videotape. And so I beg to differ uh, from this uh, prosecutor's assertion of the situation. Uh, nevertheless, once again, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Uh, my number is 919-587-7782. Mr. McConaughey, if you want to reach out and tell your side of the story, feel free to reach out. Or you can email me at taylorpublishinghouse at gmail.com. Once again, I thank y'all for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you are able to. Peace and blessings. Right here at Taylor House Publishing. Speak with Richard directly at 919-587-7782. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and invite your family and friends to watch. From Wayne County to the Carolina Coast, Taylor House brings the news you love most. So in on YouTube, don't miss a beat. Look what's going on. Taylor House Publishing. 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 Taylor House Publishing.